Hey gang and welcome to your fifth Git and GitHub tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about staging files. So in the last tutorial we went ahead and created our first repo and inside that repo we created a new file the index.html file and we added some dummy content to it. Now one of the cool things about Atom, the text editor I'm using, is that it highlighted that index file in green to say that we've changed this file and Git is aware of that. However, we've not committed it yet, okay? So if we see any green files in our project tree on the left, then that means that they have been changed or modified, but they have not yet been committed. So right now, since we've changed our index file but not committed it, it's sitting in this modified zone right here, okay? Now remember, if we created a commit right now, then it wouldn't actually commit anything because when we commit something, all it does is take everything from the staging area and create a commit from that. Now currently, all we've done is modify a file and we've not added it to the staging area ready for a commit. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. Okay then, so here I am in the git1 directory, this repository right here. I'm also in the git1 directory over here in Commander. And this is the index file we added in the last tutorial. And you can see it's green right now, which means Git is aware we've changed this file, but it's not yet been committed. Now remember, if we make a commit now, it's not gonna commit that file because we've not added it to the staging area. So we need to do that first of all. Now I'm gonna show you a command here, which is gonna show you which files are currently in the staging area and are waiting to be committed, essentially. And that command is git status. So if we type that, it's gonna show us which files we have changed and which files are in the staging area. Now it says right here that the untracked files are these index.html files right here, or rather this one file. And that's red, which means yes, yeah, it's been changed, but it's not yet been staged. Okay, so if we wanna stage that now, we're ready for committing, all we need to do is say git and then add and then the name of the file, which is index.html. And that is gonna add this file to the staging area. So now if I say git status, we're gonna see this file again, but this time it's in green and it says new file index.html. And right here it says, these are the changes to be committed. So if we run a git commit now, then it would commit these files, okay? Or rather just at the minute, this one file. So. Sometimes we add files to the staging area, which we don't necessarily mean to, it's a mistake. And we wanna remove those files from the staging area. And it says right here that we can use git rm, double dash cached, and then the file to unstage anything. So I can say, if I wanna remove the index file from the staging area, I can say git rm, double dash cached, and then index.html. And now if I say git status again, we can see that that index file has been removed from the staging area, okay? So this is all well and good. We know how to add files now to the staging area, but just imagine we have a large project and we change maybe 10 or 20 different files. Now to go through and say git add and then every single file separately is gonna take a long time. We don't wanna do that. And there's a shortcut. If we change say 20 files and we wanna add them all to the staging area, we can just say git add dot and that's going to add everything to the staging area and to demonstrate this what i'm going to do is just create a new file over here i'm going to right click and call this file styles.css so now we have this file as well i'll just do a simple rule body and then background is going to be red okay so now if i save this we've got two files right here which we've changed and they're both green which means they've changed but they're not committed if i say git status we can see that both of these files are changed, but they've not been added to the staging area. So we can add them to the staging area, both at the same time, by saying git add dot, to say we wanna add every single modified file to the staging area. And then if we say git status, it's gonna come back and say, these two are both now in the staging area. So they're both ready to be committed, okay? So now if we do a commit, it's gonna take both of these, take a snapshot of the current state of both of these files and add them to the new commit, all right? So you might be thinking, well, what on earth is the point of having a Git staging area? Why don't we just commit straight away? We make our changes, make a commit, make our changes, make a commit without ever having to add things to this staging area. Well, first of all, it's an extra blanket of security. 
So if we're making changes, we're not just committing them straight away too hastily. We have to explicitly add them to this stage and area. And by adding them to this stage and area, it allows us to review our changes before we make that commit. Okay, because committing is not something we should just be doing all over the show. We should be committing in logical points after uh, developing certain features of our website or application. Okay, makes sense. So another reason is that we can split our work up into separate commits. Now, imagine I'm managing a website and there's two bugs on it. And I want to kind of fix both bugs at the same time. So I change two files, right? One for each bug. So I might not want to bundle them together in the same commit. So what I could do is stage one of the files and then commit that and then stage one of the other files and then commit that. So it allows us to split our work up in this way into separate different commits for separate different changes. OK, so then now we know about what the staging area is all about. In the next tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at actually making commits.